Uh, welcome to a new video and a new earbud review. This time it's the Honor Earbuds Free Pro and this is the first audio product from Honor that is not in cooperation with Huawei. I think uh, the previous versions were all like copies or clones from Huawei. This looks still like a Huawei Freebud but has something else inside like a coaxial dual driver unit and how good this will sound like we have to check out, so let's get started. So a quick unboxing, nothing really special on this box. Uh, Honor Earbuds 3 Pro and some data here like the crystal clear audio, adaptive ANC and fast charging. They claim to uh, give you in five minutes, like one hour or 20 minutes, like what was it? Five, five minute charge for two hours of music playback, which is pretty awesome, I would say. And yeah, the coaxial uh, dual unit delivers crystal clear audio and adaptive active noise cancellation is also in there. Uh, as you see, I already opened it up. This is why, but here's uh, instruction on how to get them out. So this was an issue on Huawei, but I think they fixed it here on the Honor. And uh, yeah, this is the package itself. As you can see here, I have the silver version and it looks pretty okay, I would say. And uh, let's get the light there. We have USB type C here. We have a hidden button here that you can see here that you can press for pairing. Uh, otherwise it will uh, use on a pair or Huawei pair to pair with devices. Just like for example, I have my uh, Honor a magic free uh, magic 4 ultimate here when i open this up here it will automatically connect to those very very quickly as you can see here so no issues at all uh, very nice pairing solution the box is pretty sturdy and not the, the flap is opening up pretty nicely there's an honor engraving as well which looks pretty nice and yeah overall pretty sturdy what else do we have in the box? It comes with tips. They are, are packaged in plastic, like uh, the uh, silver S tips, so they're really silver. And the uh, silver large tips, though I have the medium sized uh, ones here right now because I already exchanged them uh, with the ones that we have here. The earbud itself look pretty interesting because they are glossy instead of matte uh, gray. Uh, so very, very glossy. Um, these are the big tips here, the L tips. We have a sensor here for uh, checking, where is it here? The black sensor checking if we have the earbuds in our uh, ears or not. So it will start to stop music. And we have, I think, no engraving that tells me if this is left or right. If I'm correct, yeah, I don't see it anywhere here. And uh, yeah, the shape and form is, I think, known already, very reminiscent of the uh, of the Huawei FreeBuds Pro. Uh, it's a little bit of different stem designs around stem design, which is interesting. And uh, we have like a hole here that looks like it could be a microphone hole there. And uh, yeah, this is pretty much the earbud itself. Now let's take a look at the listening listening experience. Um, ah. What I forgot, of course, you get a cable as well, USB Type C to A, very short one, as well as some PP materials inside the box, but that's not so interesting. Let's take a look at the listening experience with those, and maybe you take a look at the app as well, because there's one one thing that I did not mention, which might be very interesting. So Honor provides a special app. So it's not using the Huawei AI Live app. There's a new app in-house called AI Space, uh, developed by Honor and uh, this is connecting, it looks like the, a clone of the Huawei AI Live app. Uh, it's connecting to the Honor Earbuds 3 Pro and has basically the same user interface as on the Huawei uh, side of things. So we have the noise control, we have noise cancelling, we have awareness. If I go to noise cancelling, I have different modes here. So you can see that it now is in intelligent mode and switch to moderate, but it can also go to cozy uh, or to ultra and this will yeah, reduce the, the uh, noise around you. This is working pretty nicely. I don't have any issues with this one here. Yeah, even the intelligent mode is working pretty good though. Sometimes it's like a bit too quick in, in jumping. So I noticed that when, when uh, riding the train that 
on a train stop for example it goes to cozy <laughs> where it cannot keep like the moderate one or the ultra one for keeping uh, absolute silence otherwise there's a in this uh, mode which is now moderate there's a small hiss noise hearable and ultra it's a little bit uh, more protrude more more hearable on cozy a little bit still and uh, in general i think it's a good um, mode but between the different modes it's like how much does it filter out and i have to say it is good but it's i think on par with the huawei freebuds pro so there's not much of an improvement uh, still sony and apple i think are doing a better job here when it comes to anc bose as well and uh, one very interesting feature about those buds is if you have them in your ear you can measure your temperature as well this for some reason is not working for me so i click on the measure button nothing happens here and uh, if i have periodic uh, enabled maybe after 10 minutes something will happen but i had them on uh, with the first firmware version and had a periodic on and it did not give me any measurements of the body temperature this is why you have all these management features here which look pretty nice but for some reason it's not working at all for me so it would like give you a high risk warning if you are above 38 degrees or uh, under 35 degrees body temperature so there's a body temperature uh, measurement thing it's a gimmick it's a pure gimmick here um, when it comes to awareness mode we can also turn on awareness mode this one here is a little bit of an upgrade to the one that we have on the FreeBuds Pro but not by much so it is a bit dampened still the audio and the highs are a little bit blocked out still which is a little bit of yeah a problem you can still understand people that's not an issue but there are way better awareness modes on um, on headsets already um, even this uh, Sony here that I really don't like so much the LinkBuds S um, for sound quality but they have a good awareness mode in comparison to this it's it's way better uh, as you can see here temperature measurement still not working there's a fit test of course it's a bit of a weak fit test because always it will tell me that um, they fit pretty nicely and it's just playing some sound to figure out if they leak out or what so if you don't have super super small tips it will always show you good fit so which is like a bit of weird so try it out yourself don't trust those fit tests because it's like only a very very rough fit test shortcuts are pretty nice i like those shortcuts better than the sony uh link buds has <laughs> definitely i will compare them later in another video but we have left or right double tap which will play and pause then there's a triple tap method that you can set by default it's unconfigured but you can set it to measure the temperature i set it up because i want to figure out if i triple tap if i get any temperature so far i didn't get any temperature measured so it's a bit of weird and i had them on for hours and hours press and hold is also there press and hold is very intuitive here we have the noise control on the left side if i press and hold um, i think even the right side can switch between modes press and hold yes it can also switch between modes if i press the left or the right side i can switch between uh, modes i can set up which no modes i want to have if i don't want to have awareness for example or off i can just uncheck this here and there's swipe gesture which is pretty nice because the swipe gesture allows me to uh, swipe up and down on the stem here to raise or lower the volume let me demonstrate this for you when i play back something here so as you can see here i'm swiping now on my ear and it's going up it's working pretty nice if you have the right tips uh, it will not move so much around in your ear by swiping but you really have to swipe in this area that is showing here if you swipe too high where the microphone is located then it will not work so good so we have to swipe a little bit down which is like a little bit of a difference to the uh, to the Huawei FreeBuds Pro that where you have to swipe a little bit uh, upwards and of course inside and not on the outside uh, but it's still working fine and i like those the only thing that i would really like them to have is like some kind of option here for the for the tapping options uh, maybe a triple tap uh, configurable for left and right for skipping and going back a song or maybe at least for skipping a song because this is totally missing here which is still not ideal so uh, i still like my uh, uh, what was it final audio evas 2020s 
the best because they have the best controls, even if it's a button and not a touch control. Otherwise, touch control is working fine on those earbuds. So, like I said, you have to touch here, not there, and not there. You have to touch here, otherwise, it will not work. So, if you touch here, it starts playing back. If you touch here, nothing will happen. If you touch here, nothing will happen. You have to touch in between, otherwise, it's not working. And what you see here as well is like there's a microphone hole of some sorts as well that I wasn't showing you before because I didn't see it. But there's a microphone hole that will also help you with uh, yeah, voice income. And what we want to test right now is how the voice will uh, sound like when I'm using this uh, headset here in my ears. So, and now I'm recording with the Honor Earbuds 3 Pro and using the Honor Magic 4 Ultimate. And this is a recording using its uh, capability to record directly from Bluetooth devices. So it's not the highest quality and I didn't sh see any high quality 22 kilohertz mode or something like this. I still think this is a Huawei specific thing and maybe not only Huawei specific thing, but maybe also Huawei and Kirin processor specific thing because I didn't see it on Snapdragon processor so far. If you saw it, Write it down in the comment section. Otherwise, this is everything for this little microphone test. So let's talk about sound quality of the Honor Earbuds 3 Pro. First of all, what Bluetooth codecs are supported? Bluetooth 5.2, AAC and SBC is supported only, so there's no LDAC or anything else. And I think there's also no Huawei LHDC, I think it's called this codec here. Uh, but maybe there is, you can tell me. Uh, anyway. It's a typical V-shape, so we have very strong bass, but we have also very strong highs, which is pretty interesting because they sound clear. The mids are a bit recessed, definitely, but vocals are still okay, at least when it's female vocals, which are more, yeah, lean towards the highs. Anyway, the bass is pretty punchy, can be pretty punchy, but this is very nice for techno, for even rock, here and there to have a little bit of punch in the bass, but also vocals like, Women voices you saw Katie Melua eventually that I was listening to. Uh, also very clear, very crystal clear uh, with the highs, which is pretty, pretty nice as well. Otherwise, the headphones are pretty okay when it comes to sound isolation and they're pretty okay when it comes to clarity of the voices and sound stage, which is a bit, bit of wider, definitely wider than the uh, Sony Link Buds S for sure. And uh, they are not as wide as the um, Final Audio EVA 2020s that I have, but they are a little bit wider. I would say it's a typical uh, sound with, I think, more crystal clear highs and a little bit more punchy bass, which is, I think, here the, the strong point of those, definitely when it comes to sound quality. So they are really, really strong when it comes to this. Um, sound quality, I'm impressed, I have to say. They are, I think, better than the FreeBuds Pro. I have to test them in more detail, but I think the clarity of them and the highs and the lows are better than the FreeBuds Pro. All in all, it's a good sound for casual listening. Uh, even instrumentals are pretty cool because here I don't have the spongy bass, so they're doing something where the bass is then recessed when you have instrumentals and the highs are crystal clear. They're playing with an instrumental piano session or something like this. Very, very good. And I like this very much. It has a very pleasant um, tonality, definitely. Big enough soundstage. I would have it a little lar larger would be nicer, but still it is pretty cool for what they are. You have to say they're casual casual devices for, for listening and yeah, 200 euros is a bit expensive, but take a look at uh, other 200 euro devices and then compare. Um, all in all, I would say from the sound quality, pretty, pretty top notch um, and maybe not audiophile right, nothing for audiophiles maybe. But still, for casual listening, it is okay. I would see them more in the 140 euros um, direction. 169 is also a good price. Still, I would say, if you can get it uh, for this price, I think there's a coupon code actually right now going on. Otherwise, um, yeah, from the sound quality, nothing that I can complain about, really. Um, there is something with the mids and uh, some peak at the highs that I don't like so much. But it's a casual listening device and for what they are, they are doing a good job.
What you cannot do, however, if you don't like the sound quality so much, I want to tweak something, there's no equalizer here at all. So if I go to settings, you can see I have smart wear detection and I have temperature monitoring on, but nothing else. And smart wear detection also has in this firmware version that I have here right now, some issues. Sometimes it's not detecting that I'm taking one earbud out, so not pausing the audio. And uh, when I take the second one out, it's pausing the audio, but if I take them, put them both into my ear, sometimes it plays, it starts playing again, sometimes it doesn't. So this is a bit of a downer here. When it comes to dual connection, it has this option to dual connect to multiple devices. So I can have two devices that it can be connected at the same time. And if you choose the preferred device here, it will automatically use this preferred device and switch this. Otherwise it has the auto option, which will automatically switch to a device that gets a call, for example, and then switch back to the other device that's playing the music or video or whatever you were doing before. So this is also pretty nice. And you can have multiple things here in the list. They will show up here and you can then choose also in the list from the list which device to connect to which is pretty nice so you don't have to do it on the device itself you can do it here from your smartphone directly from another smartphone for example if you're connected to it and then choose the second device that those earbuds should connect to very very cool one weakness that I encounter with those Honor Earbuds 3 Pro is the battery life. Because with roughly four hours only with ANC enabled, and if you disable ANC, maybe like one or two hours more, it is not nothing to write home about. You can recharge it a few times, like four times, or a little bit more even, if you want to have like full 24 hours, like they claim to support this. I could not test this out yet, but I'm a bit disappointed by the four hours around where they just turn off when you use A and C. So this is one of the downsides of those earbuds. So overall, what can I say? Battery life is a bit of weak. Sound is good. An improvement, I think, to all the other Honor earbuds. Definitely one of it, it's the best Honor earbud ever. Uh, I have to still compare it against the FreeBuds Pro, but I think it is even the best in uh, against Huawei. <laughs> so uh, better than the FreeBuds Pro. Uh, my first impression and i think they're way better than the link buds but there will be a review comparison between them as well uh, what is not working however is the body temperature could not make it uh, wo to work either with periodically on or even manually trying to measure it's not working for me at all uh, the anc is okay it's not the best i don't see much of an improvement here uh, the same goes for the awareness, maybe slightly an improvement in terms of awareness, but not much of an improvement. Shortcuts, also no improvements here. I would like to have really skip and go backwards in a song, which is, would be also very, very interesting. Fit test is like a gimmick, and I think the temperature measurement is also a gimmick. Otherwise, good headphones, should be a little bit cheaper, but yeah, I can recommend them. The Honor Earbuds 3 Pro, if you're looking for a good uh, casual listening uh, device that has ANC, that has awareness and that has good sound quality.